Hello viewers, I am Mayuresh Doshi and I welcome you to the next lesson of Power Apps course. In this lesson, we are going to see Power FX functions. Before we start the actual Power Apps development, it is very important to understand what is Power FX. In the introduction video of the Power Apps course, we saw that Power Apps is a no code, low code platform. That means you don't need to write a complex code to achieve your requirements. But practically, if we say Power Platform is a low code platform, definitely you can achieve your lot of requirements with no code things. But in lot of cases, you will need to write a small pieces of formulas or functions to achieve your output. So in this lesson, we will learn what is Power FX. If you have used Excel sheet and if you want to make a sum of two columns, we used to write a sum function in Excel sheet. In the same fashion, Power Apps also uses lot of formulas and those formulas are called as Power FX formulas. Power FX is a low code language which will be used across Microsoft Power Platform. We are going to use the PowerFX formulas everywhere in our Power Apps development. You can refer this official documentation given by Microsoft. This documentation explains all details about PowerFX formulas. So if you see, uh, the first thing is think like a spreadsheet. Here they have given one example. If you see here, in the A2 cell, they have written one formula. This formula basically gives you the last word of the sentence. Similar kind of formula we, they have written in the Power Apps. So this screenshot is Power Apps screenshot. And if you see the text property of this text input, they have used a similar uh, formula in the Power Apps. And this formula also does the same work. So in short, PowerFX functions or PowerFX formulas in Power Apps will help you to achieve your requirements or to get your required output. Similarly, if you see they have used one rectangle and a fill property of that rectangle, they are um, generating that fill property dynamically with the help of these slider controls. So here they just want to tell you that it's not like very complex to achieve your uh, output. So if you see this rectangles fill property, they have used a function RGBA. I will explain you these functions in a moment. But for now, just understand that RGBA function takes some parameters like red, green, blue. So these colors, so red slider dot value, green slider dot value, blue slider dot value. And there, uh, this is, I think, opacity. So these RGBA functions gets these values and it generates one color. The ne next feature of PowerFX formulas are it's always live. So if you see whenever you change this slider control, it automatically uh, the text formula of this label control is getting changed. So if we just wait for a moment, whenever the slider is changing, the order number is changing accordingly and it's pulling the uh, full name of that employee for that order number. We will learn about this lookup function, uh, but here they just want to tell you that whatever formula you have written in the Power Apps, it is always live. So you will get a live data whenever you write those formulas. Then it is a low code. So Power FX is human readable formulas. So it's not like a very complex formulas you are going to write. So if you are aware about JavaScript programming, here you can see that Power FX formula. Uh, can perform the same operation in a single line of code. But the JavaScript equivalent requires a lot of um, words. That means it is more verbose, whereas the PowerFX formulas are less verbose. Then uh, this documentation provide you a lot of uh, information about what is PowerFX formulas. As a beginner, we don't need to go into much detail about this one. You can go, go through this document once you become familiar or once you start developing few apps. Then you can come here again and read this en entire documentation for more understanding. Then uh, here is a list of all Power FX formulas that we can use in our Power Apps. So if you go to this link, so under this Power Apps section, you can see the formula reference. And this is the all the formulas that Power Apps uses or this Power FX formulas com contains all these functions. So uh, I will give you a couple of examples in this uh, lesson as well. 
like how we can use this formula and how it is useful in our actual business scenarios so uh, here when when you start developing apps you might come across some situations where you can't find the syntax of the formulas or what parameters it requires so you can come to this formula reference uh, link and you can then search your formulas for example if you want to find the average function just search for average function then this average function if you see the syntax it accepts the numerical values inside the bracket okay so uh, let's take few example let's take the first example of average i will switch back to my power apps studio and this is my blank screen so let's add one label so in the previous lesson we have seen label is one of the basic control that we will use very frequently while developing the power apps now the requirement is that i want to get the average value of three numbers and those three numbers are 10 20 30 so uh, the label formula has a text property we can see the text property from this drop down or you can just click on this text property now it is hard coded text so instead of that we need we need to write one formula so just use the average now here it will show you what values it accepts so the first value is number a numeric value for this average operation so it's 10 then i will put a comma then again 20 comma 30 so if i want the average of these three numbers and you see that the average is 20 this is very simple uh, mathematical operation that we have performed with the help of power fx function let's take another example here we have one user function and if you see the user function returns the information about the current user so you might have seen lot of android apps or ios apps when you open those apps you can see your personal information like your logged in name your email address your phone number similarly this power fx function user user function also provides a similar functionality so the syntax is just user and brackets so if i let's say add another label and if i want to show my name so i will use the user function now this function if you scroll up there are three three different properties this function provides one is email one is full name and one is image so email will return me the email address of myself so i will write user dot email and if i extend this label width you can see it has written me my email address now if i want to show the username of logged in user i can just use the same function user dot full name so when you put a dot you can see the available properties of this function this all these properties can be returned by this function so if i use the full name i can get my full name which you can see from by clicking on this icon as well so my full name is mayuresh zoshi it has written me the same full name my email address here is the email address now if i want to show uh, the current time value okay so there is one function which is now okay and what does this function do the now function returns the current date and time as date and time value so if you have some requirement where you want to capture the current date so current date is if you see it's 447 let me add a uh, label and if i want to show the current time i will just use the now function so if you see the syntax here it's just now we have another function as today which we can use so this now function if you see it has written me the date and timestamp 
So in short, if you see with the help of PowerFX function, we can get lot of information and we can perform different operation on different data sources that we are going to uh, learn in our upcoming videos. So the objective of this lesson is to make you familiar with PowerFX function. Where can we use them? How to get the values? Let's take another example, which is RGBA. So if you want to get a color, you can make use of RGBA function. We all know that every color contains three values, red, green and blue. If we make a combination of these three colors, we get different colors. If I want the background of this to be red, so what I will do, just find the fill property. And here you see that it has RGBA function, but all uh, values are 0, 0, 0. That means it's a transparent color. But if I put some random color, let's say if I want this dark blue color, okay. So dark blue RGB values are 0, 0, 1, 3, 9, 1. So 0, 0, 1, 3, 9, and 1. So you see that I got the dark blue color as a background of this text. So I hope you are now aware about what is PowerFX function, how we can make use of them. If you have any questions or doubts, please let me know in the comment section. Finally, thanks for watching.